Hello and welcome to another tutorial by Harla Penguin. My name is Norm and I will be your host today. This is the second part of a series. In our first part, we downloaded a car model from TurboSquid, we applied cycles materials, and set up this scene. In this tutorial, we are going to add a Python script and drivers such that when we move the car, the wheels rotate. So let's get started. The first step is to turn on Python. For this, we go to File, User Preferences, File, and click on Auto Run Python Scripts. Next, we want to move the origin. If you look, if you click on this tire, you'll see that the origin is back here, which means that when we rotate around the x-axis, it causes the wheel to rotate all around the origin. Therefore, we want to move this origin along this axle. For this, we go to Object, Transform, Origin to Geometry. Now when we rotate along the x-axis, the wheel rotates correctly. We are going to do the same for the hubcap and for the rear, rear tire. All right, next we want to add an empty. And the purpose is, if you look at the way that this car is designed, it's composed of many different parts. We want to set this up such that all we have to do is move one object and everything else moves with it. To do this, we are going to focus just on the car layer And in front of the car, we will add an empty. And for this, I will just use plain axis. I like to scale it up a little bit, move it forward. Now I'm going to select all of the car, all of the parts of the car. And I find it easier to select in, in wireframe. And then press Shift, right click on the empty, Control P to parent, and we will keep the transform so that the car stays over here. Next, I'm going to parent the hubcap to the tire, such that when we rotate the tire, the hubcap will rotate with it. And I will do the same with the back. Select the hubcap, shift, right click, the rear tire, control P, object with transform. Now, if I rotate the tire, the hubcap rotates with it. All right, great. Now we're ready to set up the drivers. So with the tire selected, let's go to the object and I'm going to split my screen. Go to the graph editor and down here where it says F curve, drop this down, select drivers. Now we don't have anything here yet because we need to, to add a driver. So again, with the tire selected, go to the Object tab, and I'm going to right click on the X rotation, Add Driver, 
I'm going to go all the way down here to manually create later single. And now we see that we have a driver option. I'm going to press N and select driver on this pop-up. Now the way that, that this driver is going to work is it will take a couple of variables. We will put those into a Python script. So the first variable we want is the location, the Y location of our empty. So with the tire selected, we're going to choose the object of the empty and select Y location. Next, we are going to add a variable. I'm going to name this diameter. I'm going to select the front tire. And in path, I'm going to type dimensions bracket one bracket. And what this does is this gives us the Y of the tire, which in this case, this width would be the diameter of the tire. And with these two variables, I will come up here to expression, and this is where we, where we type the Python expression. And I'm going to type negative VAR, which refers to this variable or the Y location, divided by parenthesis diameter divided by two. And I will press enter, select our empty, move the empty along the Y, and you can see that the tire rotates. All right, so with, with that tire complete, let's select this other one. We are going to do the same process, add a driver, manually create later. Again, we're going to select the empty, Y location, add another variable called diameter. For this one, we will use the back tire, dimensions one, and same expression. All right, now when we select the empty, move it along the Y, both tires move. And that's all it takes. So with this complete, now let's add some simple animation. So on the first keyframe, I'm going to insert a location keyframe. And then on frame number 250, I'm going to move the car and insert another location frame. And with that, we have the car movement animated. And let's take a look at our tires. If we select Alt A, we can see that it tracks the car. Thanks for watching.